I got one eye sleeping and one eye on the road. They're taking turns. 10-4. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking, baby. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Have you hugged a trucker today? A mother trucking hugger. What's going on, guys? It is Paul One Vape and Trucker coming at you live from the road with a little bit of a different kind of thing today. <clears throat> uh, today we're going to be uh, talking about uh, what a new vapor needs to get started in vaping. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Kangertech Evod Mega, just pure vapor. Uh, as you can see there from the box there it includes one atomizer one battery one dual coil at 1.5 ohm and one micro usb um, and you see there's some other specifications length of 63 millimeters 18 and a half millimeters around juice capacity of 2.5 mils dual coil 1.5 ohm and it comes in five colors uh, the battery spec specifications can't get that word out of my mouth today Let's see if I can get that to focus there we go battery specs 105 millimeters in total length and we are going to turn off the auto focus because that is driving me batty and we are going to zoom in a little bit where you guys can see it and there we go 105 millimeters 18.5 millimeters around with a micro USB charger a 1900 mile hour battery 510 ego threads so without further ado we are going to open this up and we are going to take a look and see what we have going on so to do that I'm going to throw my second camera on over here and we are going to get that moving also and there we go all right so guys now that I am back here I'm going to turn on the autofocus and we are going to look into the EVOD tank and battery combination uh, this was picked up at Carolina Fog in Hickory North Carolina uh, for you guys wanting to know it has not been opened yet and oh there it is good that may be a thing that I needed to work on but we can see it came out came out just fine okay and here we have together in the picture now the device with the EVOD tank your fire button it is a pass through so I'll move that into the camera over here and if you wonder what I'm looking at it's at the video over here um, to make sure I'm on focus and in camera well um, also you see there is some battery venting looks like down there at the bottom just in case uh, this is in a dark red and basically I'm gonna break it down right quick for you and show you the parts and the pieces and we'll talk about it and see where it goes from there okay guys it's fairly simple fairly straightforward um, you have your Kanger Tech user user manual in English one USB cord your Kanger Tech product authenticity your battery and one tank with it's the EVOD Mega and it already has the coil already installed so you saw how I took that apart there we're just going to bring it back and screw that back in just so we can get it up on camera good here and you just twist the base and it comes off and you put your juice in that tank section right there and then you screw it back on while upside down so you don't spill your juice very 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 common mistake is people will open it with it standing up like this and juice will run out all over their hand so I'm gonna take this apart a little further show you what you're working with here um, there is your base for your atomizer as you can see clear through and here is your coal now with that being said, this is, like I said, a 1.5 millimeter coil. 
or 1.5 ohm rather, excuse me. Um, and what that does is it just screws right into the base and you can see there's your contact for making that. Now, besides that guys, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I am going to uh, da, 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 find a good clean juice right quick. That will work. Uh, we are going to use some of the keys from a cloud of vapor. And I'm going to try to do this on camera without making too terrible bad of a mess. So basically you take your bottle of juice and you come in with it and you fill it up to... Most people will go all the way to the top of the inner lip in there if you can see the center post lip and that's where most people will stop um, I tend to fill it up to that point but because of this video we're just going to give it a minute and just a little less juice than normal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for a second what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it back to the battery and I'm gonna let that soak into the coal now just finger tight this guys that's all you need to do just finger tight you can see just whenever it catches I stop five buttons clicks on I had that off the camera so five off five turns it on and like I say we're gonna let that sit for a second and we're gonna talk about that uh, while that, uh, what, what I'm allowing to do here is to um, allow the juice to soak into the coal and give it some time to wick itself up so we don't get any nasty burny, nasty dry hits or anything like that. Um, you always want to make sure that, uh, that you allow time for everything to soak up and things of that nature. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to take a little vape break here, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys. Surprisingly, the airflow is fairly well on that. Um, normally your tank style your new now keep in mind this is the new version when we started this we didn't have the things that we have now but uh, some of the advancements that have come along has made our life a whole lot easier um, with that being said um, you have uh, the evi tank uh, style like this which is you know great wonderful then you can move up to like a sub ohm tank with a regulated device um, then of course you also have your tube mods which this is a small one because uh, I like things to be a little small um, then you have of course your box mods then you have temperature controlled mods which that other one that I showed you is also a temperature controlled device um, so we are going to give her a little C here and see how she vapes Not bad, not bad for a uh, for a regulated single battery device. Now I can tell you that this has not uh, been put on a charger at all, so I do not know the charge level. Um, it came straight out of the box there and has not been used. So what also I am going to show you is that. You can also make sure that's plugged in. You can also use this as a pass through device, uh, which means that you can use it with the cord attached, and it will also charge your battery, and you can also vape it while doing so.
very very nice for a small device very very nice um, it will also fit multiple drip tips if you have one that is your favorite you can use various drip tips on this same device there's the good one there So for a first time user, this is kind of what you're going to be looking at. Uh, this is, like I say, just a very simple starter kit. Um, there's nothing extra special about it. It does the job, which is what you want it to do. And the whole purpose is to get you off the cigarettes, which this will help you do. Um, now, with that being said, there are... Um, other ways that you can go about things uh, you can uh, use like I said the other various types of devices uh, your mechanical mods your regulated mods uh, things of that nature and uh, yeah so what uh, what else do you have well okay well you want to know we've got uh, I don't know what other, there it is um, you have what is known as the K-Fun style, which is a rebuildable tank atomizer. That is a um, a um, variable airflow to an extent. Um, it is variable juice control by turning the base here. It will control your juice flow control of the device. Um, and you've got... Um, rebuildable tank sections um, like uh, for instance this one has a rebuildable tank section on it um, which you can't really see from in there out of there though but that'll give you kind of an idea you can see the tank section in there and then the rebuildable section on the very very inside there um, then you have of course RDAs which is a rebuildable dripping atomizer this one is a Kennedy uh, which will let you have more vapor production because you build your own coils um, and stuff to that nature more airflow um, and more flavors or not flavors but more flavor out of most of the RDAs I feel um, a lot of guys like tanks I love my tanks but uh, yeah so basically that gives you a firm grasp and you can see the difference here on the vapor production between the pen style um, starter kits and some of the upper end stuff and that is on that one and I'm getting messages there is some difference uh, but like I say overall great product for anyone trying to quit smoking that is the Evod Mega and it is a 1900 milliamp hour battery I'll show you up close there on the tank you have the Evod Mega the firing button and the 1900 Ma Evod Mega tank with pass through charging Guys, I appreciate you, and thanks for tuning in. I hope you find this video educational, um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me uh, through YouTube uh, by leaving a message or a comment in the, the area below, and make sure you subscribe and check out the One Vaping Trucker and Big Bob show that is live every Saturday night on YouTube. Uh, guys, I do appreciate it. I am One Vaping Trucker. We'll see you soon.